So let's convert pi over 3 radians into degrees. So the first thing we need to know is a relationship between radians and degrees. And we know that there are pi radians or pi radians is equivalent to 180 degrees. In other words, about 3.14 radians is equal to 180 degrees. Remember, radian is just an alternative angular measurement than degrees. We're used to dealing with degrees. We're not used to dealing with radians. But they both measure the same thing. It's just like miles and kilometers. They both measure a distance, although they measure different distances, right, relative to one another. So in order to do this conversion, we first need to know a known relationship between the two units. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my given value in radians and write it down. It's going to be then pi over 3 radians. Now it's written like this in the problem, but you know that this is basically the same thing as putting it in the numerator. And I'm going to put it in the numerator there because it's going to make my life a little easier. Now whatever unit you're starting with here, you know you want to cancel that unit because you don't want your answer here in radians. You don't want that. You want degrees at the end. And therefore, this unit here of radians must cancel, okay? It must cancel. So let's just delete that. So what that means is that now I go back to my conversion fraction here, or my conversion relationship, or my known relationship here. And I'm going to take the radian value, and I'm literally going to go, boop, plug it in the denominator. Right? Notice what's going to happen. The radians go bye-bye. That's why I want to do it. And then where do I put the 180? Well, it goes in the numerator. It goes in the numerator because I don't want the degrees to cancel. I want them in the numerator on the top. I want to solve for degrees, right? If you flip this around, it would have been radian squared over degree. What kind of, what, what's that measurement, right? So now the problem's done. It's just simplification now. So notice these pi's can cancel because this is a multiplication, not a cross multiplication, right? So this is really saying pi divided by pi. Okay, so they cancel. And then you can also reduce further down the 3 and the 180. So you know 3 goes into 180 60 times. All right. So this basically works out to this whole thing just canceled, right? So that's like saying 1 times 60 degrees is equal to uh, 60 degrees. And yes, that's the answer. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helped. Help us out by subscribing if you can, maybe even telling your friends. We'd love to help you out on other videos. We've got a whole bunch of other subjects out there, chemistry and physics, solve problems to help you through your class. Download some of those books. We use the OpenStax textbooks online. They're totally free, and uh, which is great. And uh, no matter what, even if you're not using those textbooks, all the questions in the classes are all the same, right? In terms of the, right? I'm sure you're converting from radians to degrees. You might not be doing pi over three radians, but... Um, Take a look at some of those problems. We solve them specifically for you. Okay? We'll see you soon. Take care.